Oh, uh, you fix that vibration. Yeah, I love it. Don't feel like rattling sound. I'm Holly. That's Ray. And this is our home, Sabado. Subscribe to Tag Along on the Adventure. Ray is currently on shore getting our dinghy outboard serviced because it died yesterday. We had gone to shore yesterday afternoon to get some cash so that we could pay for a taxi later that night to go to a restaurant for my birthday dinner. We got to shore and unfortunately both ATMs were out of service, but that's fine. That's part of island life. We decided we were going to head back to Sabado and do some research and make a reservation at a restaurant we didn't need to take a cab to. So we climb back into the dinghy and Ray is pulling and pulling. He pops the cover off of the outboard and tinkers around with it a little bit, pulls some more, and it's just not starting. Now, keep in mind, it's a Sunday afternoon, so everything is closed. Nobody is really around to help us. I start doing the mental math of like, how long is it gonna take us to row with the oars our dinghy back to Sabado, right? And how neither of us are really wearing an appropriate amount of sunscreen to make that journey. But thankfully, some local who I guess was just on his boat and saw us struggling came over to help. He offered to tow us to a mechanic that would hopefully help us on a Sunday and we were up front with him. We told him, you know, we came here to get cash and the ATM is out of service so we don't have any cash to offer you for your help. To which he kind of just chuckled and said, well, how did having all that money go for those rich guys in the submarine? So he towed us over to the marina and said that he was going to walk to the mechanic's house to see if he would come and help us. And sure enough, 15, 20 minutes later, he shows up with the mechanic and they get straight to work. The mechanic was able to get our outboard up and running, but he said he didn't have all of his normal tools to give it a full service and he did see some problems that he wanted to address properly. So he told us to meet up with him first thing this morning and he would give our outboard a proper service. So Ray is off doing that and I stayed on the boat to take care of a few things because the next like three days are gonna be pretty busy for us. We're moving on to a dock tomorrow to get some engine work done on Sabado. Nothing serious, just some valve adjustments, I believe. And while that's going on, I need to do a big reprovision because we are very low on food. And then the next day, we just found out we're gonna have two of our friends coming to stay with us. So I wanna get the guest cabin ready for them. I'm literally baking my own crackers right now because we don't have any snacks. All right. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> if only it were that easy. Be honest, does this look like a crab and an octopus? I tried my best. My first time making sourdough crackers. They're not the prettiest, but they're actually really good. All right, we are heading to the dock this morning. I've got the boat set up for a side tie because I'm hoping they give us a side tie. They won't tell you in advance, but I've never met more before, so there is a first time for everything, but I'm kind of hoping today is not that day. but there's a huge reef out there. Hey, yeah, we've uh, we got a spot on the dock starting today, so we're uh, almost there. Excellent. We're set up for a, uh, a side tie on the uh, port side. Do you want me just to grab a spot? Uh, yeah, so we just got to Clark's Court Marina. I was here back 
back a few years ago and had Palm Tree Marine do uh, just some service work on, on our Yanmars. They did a great job, good company, good people, very knowledgeable. So we're back here for a little bit more service work on them. This marina is actually really cool. It has a huge boat yard, and then these are like storefronts for service centers. And this is a big marine chandlery. But there is a huge rain cloud heading our way, and I have every single hatch open on Salvado, so we're power walking back. Just in time. Hello, we're doing a valve adjustment today. Um, it's on a Yanma 4Js, the electrical ones. We normally do them in the valve, the order they fire. It's 1, 4, 3, 2. So you get the piston at the top dead center. You get the filler gauge, you get it into the gap. And then you just got get all of them into the same tolerance. There are two pistons that work together. So in one would be at the power stroke, the other one would be at top dead center. So you need to know when you're doing which one, you don't want to get it mixed up. So you turn the engine over 360 degrees to get it into the right position. And then you just go ahead and get the, the valve clearance done. How are the ones that you've done so far looking? Um, this year the engine are, are at 1400 hours. So it's just a bit loose. So it's going to be rattling a bit more than normal. It may seem a bit more rowdy. Um, but when you do the valve clearances and you get it into the tolerance, it gets a bit more quiet. Seems very smooth when it runs. It then shows that the valves are entirely locked, so you get all the compression, you're going to get very fuel efficient as well. This year was, it wasn't really, really off, but it's, there was room for improvement, so I'm getting them on point. Is there like a certain time frame in which you would recommend getting valve adjustments done? Yes, on these Yanmas I recommend at a thousand hours. That's the best time. Uh, you fix that vibration, yeah, I love it. You don't feel like rattling sound. She sounds good! do what most of my provisioning here in Grenada at IGA but this time I also used a meat delivery service and it looks great I've got some ribeye steaks this is feta cheese some tuna and mahi-mahi a whole chicken it feels good to have a full fridge again and fresh fruit 